Okay. Extra stories. Okay, nope, that's not a uh, thing. So that would also be another thing. Advance Ops. What's this? Enemy camp, camp is captured. All allied infantry fall. I got no idea what I'm doing. Let's go. All right, I'll do something out there. Uh, da, 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 da. Yes, sir. Here I go. Um. Stay calm and focused. All right, here we go. Oh right, yeah. I should probably have uh, put down my, my turn. these units. Lock and load. There. Wait, this is uh the same thing as the first map. Okay, you're a scout. You're a light tank. You're a sniper. I suspect that that's blocked off, so I can't actually just run down and take the base. But I've got two scouts. I might as well check. God, I have to work. Enemies over there. Found him. Found him. Found him. Lancer. Hmm. Where are the reinforcements? That's my chance. My lucky day. Nice shot. There they are. Yeah, that's completely blocked off. Oof. Just one scout in there. Engineer, scout, lancer, gatling turret, tank, gatling turret, shock trooper, scout, engineer, shock trooper, engineer, scout, sniper, scout, and light tank. Okay. So I'm almost certainly going to want to take out that sniper. Closer, I think. There. Not bad. No. Hmm. So if I just burst down the wall like that, I can run down this way, take out that Gatling turret, and have covering fire on everything down here. Or I could just try and bl bust up this light tank. Okay, moving out. I will see this through. There they are. What 
do I want to aim at? I'm thinking your face. Probably take this base now. Moving out. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Engaging. Don't. Uh. Crouching engineer. There. Enemy down. Our allies have been taken out. Good. Just the one engineer there. Um, do I want to bring in a lantern or no? Probably not. Yeah, I'll just take out this engineer. I can do this. You're not even crouched. Uh -oh, the enemy's firing back. Over there. Nice to feel dirt under my feet. I'm going down! Let's keep going. They might be soldiers after all. And because the whole point of a scout is to have line of sight, put you in a tower. I can see everything. Nice try. Oh well. Not like I was using that base for anything. What? <laughs> Please don't aim for the weak point. Okay. You aimed for the weak point and missed. That's just as good. Oh no, not a grenade. And you missed. Again, step one is use tanks to blow up Gatling gun. Advancing. Fire. Because that's my biggest threat for having a scout come up and absolutely steal this base. Let's 
slightly problematic in that I now have a Lancer with a direct line on my radiator, but I've also got a Scout who can sneak past here, take the Lancer out with some headshots. Da -da -da -da. Command with Raz. Get behind me! <laughs> yes, sir! Watch my back. Let's see what you can do. Both of you. Come with me on a suicidal trip. Commencing counterattack. Follow my lead. Incoming! Wide open! Done. Now s this guy can go down and blow up the Gatling turret. Let's move. Don't let your guards down. With minimal interference. How's this? Still just a rookie. I see. They're good. They're range. Man, he's got a lot of defense up. I think I'll run Scott down to take care of uh, the Lancer slash Engineer. Sir! Yes, sir! Depending on how far I can get. All right, definitely need to use the scout. Understood. Engaging. Enemies over there. Nice try, engineer. Follow my lead. Nice to feel under my feet. Going down. Nice. Don't let up the attack. Pretty good. And should be able to take him out this turn. Moving out. They're firing on us. What's this? Man units down. Enemies. I Over there. Enemy base taken. Two turns. A right. That tank in the top corner was completely useless. Listen up, everyone. I'd like to introduce a new member of Squad E. The one, the only, the gorgeous Edie Nelson at your service. The pleasure's all yours, I know. Oh, okay. So that's what these are for. Squad 7's idle. Okay, so, that is legit the only thing that was left in that extra story. Uh, let's see, training field. I got 7k. Good to see you again, Claude. Now hmm. Dump it all into Grenadier. Just do it! You've leveled up, so to speak. And next time they level is a battle potential. Very good. Done for today? Uh, 
What's that new gun? Okay. The fresh recruits could give our squad a new edge. Might be good to get them on the field. PD. Country bread, born leader, panicky, and rosy hater. Yeah, decreases evasion. That's much better. And she starts a private first class, so should be easy to promote to corporal. I think that was a new weapon for shock troopers. And it's. Hmm. D200. D plus 200. Minus 4 versus personnel. Plus 5 versus armor. And plus 5 shots. Hmm. Nah, I'm good. There. That didn't get me a new weaponry thing? Fine. Alright, might as well start on these personnel files. Claude Wallace, Edinburgh Army First Lieutenant, age 22, Commander of Squad E, from the city of Hafen in Gallia, keenly attuned to changes in climate and weather, graduated as valedictorian from the military academy. While serious and responsible, he has a spacey side to him and enjoys watching the clouds. Riley Miller, Edinburgh Army Second Lieutenant, age 21. Squad E Grenadier, from the city of Hafen in Gallia. She seems to share some painful history with Claude. Edinburgh Army Sergeant, age 23, Squad E Fire Team Leader, from the city of Hafen in Gallia. A Darkson. He's athletic and a very capable soldier. He calls himself Invincible. Short tempered, but cares for his friends. Fond of girls, booze, and cigarettes, though he's decided to quit the latter. He's still carried gills over an old conflict with Claude, but the two of them have talked through it. Their friendship is now stronger than ever. Inborough Army First Sergeant, age 23, Squad E Fire Team Leader, from the city of Hafen in Gallia, loves, fresh -baked, loves fresh baked bread, perhaps more than life itself. Her skill with the rifle has won her the nickname Dead-Eyed Kai. She seems quiet and stoic, yet driven by some fierce sense of purpose. Minerva Victor, Edinburgh Army, 1st Lieutenant, age 22, Commander of Squad F. Appointed Senior Lieutenant, she holds authority over all other squad commanders. Her father, a respected army official, ensured she kept high standards for herself. She values chivalry and honor, but, can, but she can also be quite stubborn. No matter how hard she works to better herself, she can't seem to surpass Claude. As a result, she feels an intense sense of rivalry toward him. Miles Arbeck, Edinburgh Army Sergeant, age 20, Squad E Tank Operator. He's got undeniable talent when it comes to piloting and driving a tank. Claude was a senior in the military academy, and they earned high marks when paired in tank training. The duo won countless mock battles together. Dan Bentley, Edinburgh Army Private, age 30, Squad E APC Driver, a man with a passion for tanks and APCs not particularly talkative otherwise. He loves army vehicles so much that he spends most of his time in the driver's seat, even to sleep. He gets grumpy if anyone messes with his ride. Ronald Alby, Edinburgh Army 2nd Lieutenant, age 20, Squad F Tank Operator, one of Minerva's subordinates. He has sworn his undying loyalty to her. Crystal Ward, Edinburgh Army Corporal, age 22, Squad F Scout, one of Minerva's subordinates and a competent soldier who excels at recon. Most of the time she is reliable and very sociable. She acts as Minerva's right-hand woman and the two have been close friends for a long time. In truth, she is completely infatuated with Minerva, so much so that it's kind of obvious to others. She often fantasizes about being with her. Karen Stewart. Edinburgh Army Corporal, age 17, Squad E Medic, eldest girl of a large family. She planned on medical school but enlisted to support her household. 
She's gentle and kind, and her smile is a welcome relief for many soldiers. Living with her father, grandfather, and brother has gotten her used to men. Ragnarok, age 10. Squad E rescue dog. Male. Helps in rescuing wounded soldiers. He used to be a stray, but is extremely intelligent and exceptionally brave. Sheba. Fearlessly runs through gunfire and even explosions. Wouldn't leave a hurt comrade behind. He's very prideful and stubbornly refuses petting, mostly. It's common to see rags running courageously through battle in order to save the wounded. The sight alone can boost any soldier's morale. Albert Miller, Riley's father, a researcher of Ragnag compression technology and manager of the Miller Company factory. He and his family died when it burnt down. Claus Waltz, Imperial Lieutenant Colonel, age Colonel, age 31, leads the elite 502nd Imperial Heavy T Tank Battalion known as Osbruch, fearless and tactically flexible. All right, and now it's actually troops. Except for all this guy. Gene Townshend. Townshend? Who knows? Ministry of Foreign Affairs Ambassador Extraordinaire and Plentipotentary. Calls Squad E for joint training with Squad 7. He holds his troop in high regard and personally requests that Claude Wallace deploy for a secret mission in Randrees. Despite a soft-spoken demeanor, he'd do anything to fulfill his duty. His aim is to unite the Federation with Gallia. Elgin Gunther, son of the late EW1 hero, Belgen Gunther, leader of Squad 7, formerly university student, easygoing demeanor often leads to his colleagues to comment to that he scarcely carries himself like a soldier at all. His officer training, however, fostered sharp tactical skills. Squad 7 has won battle after battle under his guidance. His curiosity and knowledge of natural science caused him to equate everything to animals, much to his squad's chagrin. Joint training with, with Claude forged a new friendship, which reaffirmed his resolve to serve the militia and protect Gallia. Alicia Melchiot, Sergeant, age 19, Squad 7 Scout, has a bright and cheerful personality often accompanies and supports Lieutenant Gunther. She happily welcomes Squad E to Gallia, and does her best to help the two squads get along during their joint training. She's an excellent baker, and offers her homemade loaves to Squad E. According to some, hers is the best bread in Europa. She and Kai became fast friends through their shared love of bread. At least she even made a special batch as a parting gift. Isara Gunther, Corporal, age 16. Squad 7 Tank Pilot daughter of the late engineer, Professor Thamer, a kind and calm Darkson girl. As the mechanic in charge of her squad's equipment, she maintained General Gunther's former tank, the Edelweiss. Even Miles is impressed by her prolific skills. Her interest in weapon mods is a natural complement to Riley's expertise. At the end of joint training, she gives Riley schematics for a smoke round. Her advice helps Sara complete the design. With Riley's help, she enters combat as a mortar-wielding grenadier to honor her late father and aid her adoptive brother. Argo Potter, Sergeant, age 36, Squad 7 Lancer. Since his initial conscription in EW1, he has survived countless combat operations. As Squad 7's most experienced veteran, his pride prompts him to express doubts about Squad E's skill in joint training. He eventually comes to sympathize with Claude's and Welkin's hardships. He then opens up and becomes buddies with Raz. Bridget Stark, Corporal, age 27, Squad 7 Shock Trooper. Formerly a bartender and lounge singer, she still goes by her stage name, Rosie. As a fierce competitor and a sore loser, her prejudice against Darksons creates friction with Raz when they first meet. Although she butts heads with Raz during joint training, she eventually learns to respect him as a soldier and as an ally. Edie Nelson, Squad 7 Shock Trooper, age 17. As a self-styled actress from a tiny rural town, this proud starlet lacks coping skills. Jealous of whoever draws attention away from her, she is a fierce, if one-sided, rival to Rosie, Squad 7's top trooper. Although she has a haughty attitude, she cares about other people's welfare and holds an unwavering sense of justice.
Ugh. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. Thirty-two profiles to go. I'll get to that at some point. <laughs> 